everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we got another noodle video. I've only got one more after this one. So I've been kind of trying to space them out. So far, all of these have been awesome. So this one is corn from Bodak. Okay. So let me get you in here. I'll show you that. Now I'm going to show you the uh, nutrition facts. If you're interested. Unfortunately, we don't get to break the walkout for this one. You just cook it and eat it. So let's get into this. Okay, so I'll read you the instructions real simple um, for those of you that don't know. Sorry about the air. It's been hot, guys. Heat wave all week has been over 100 real fuel. Been like 94 a couple days, uh, regular temperature. For those of you that don't know, I always do these reviews the way they suggest and the way they tell you to that you should do it that way if some if I don't like it or something they they can't say well you added that when you shouldn't have or whatever which they would be right cooking instructions put noodles into 20 ounces which is 600 milliliters of wa boiling water and cook for five minutes now, I've got heating up over here already and it says please remove the water remain for tablespoons they want you to keep four tablespoons in there and add liquid sauce and powder stir well and serve so we do not get to uh, I think it said five minutes didn't it yeah five minutes um, so we don't get to do use the wok that's okay so that's almost ready to boil once it starts boiling I'll put you down here sorry about the lighting in here again guys the light on the hood range the lights quit working it's not a bulb the only thing I can find out about it is how to change bulbs I know how to do that the problem is well, monkey turned it on one day and it, it just started flickering all four at the same time you shut them off turn them on they start flickering now if you turn them on they're real dim and then when you shut them off it takes a minute for them to go clear out so I don't know if there's you know what's going on inside there I don't know if it's in the board or what so anyway I gotta get them fixed onto this it's almost ready to boil so let's put this in some boiling water and we'll get ready to make this up and we'll see how this one tastes I got my I put sriracha on my sriracha. My little, well, it's not little, it's, it's huge. So, I eat chili out of that and stuff. So, all right, guys, I'll be back with you. Hang tight. Okay, guys, we're just going to. Whoops. Whoops. Sheesh. All right, Monkey likes these round ones. Now, they taste the same to me, but anyway, so we're going to put this in here got my chopsticks here I can't eat with them because my hand doesn't work anymore for those of you that don't know so all right I'm gonna boil this up for five minutes and then we'll put our this must be the powder here yeah powder powder and here's the good stuff there I don't know how spicy this is it doesn't look like it's there's no, well, yeah, there is a flame down here. So, okay. We're in for a treat. All right, guys, let me get this boiled up. I'll bring you back when we mix this all up. Okay, guys, so since, uh, since I'm, there's no more cooking to be done, I'm just going to mix it right here in a bowl. I've got my noodles here. I've strained them. All right, I did pull out four tablespoons, 
course you don't have to measure that stuff but like I said when I when I do this stuff I, I like to do it like the package recommends okay so here's the powder let's get the powder in there I may try this with just the powder first this is corn artificially spicy chicken flavored ramen I got a bunch of these for those of you that don't know my cousin and uh, her husband sent me a whole bunch of these awesome I've loved every one of them so far they also sent me a walk <laughs> and by the way guys I use that walk probably four times a week um, at a minimum so let's get these in here or this powder in here we're going to go ahead and add this stuff let's get it mixed up I can at least mix it some with this with my chopsticks they also sent me chopsticks oh, look at that there's a payload right um, these have been so good if you like spicy stuff because these have, they know I love spicy and hot things and uh, so they sent them to me and that was awesome thanks again guys for that I really do appreciate that um, so alright let's just try a little bit of this without the sauce first I want to do that on, on the other ones and I kept forgetting so Wow. Woo, doggy. It's going to be a good one. All right, now we're going to add this. I thought this is what really made it hot or spicy, but. Wow. Okay, now I'm going to stir this up. I'm going to get some water. I have a Coke here, but I'm going to get some water and I'll tell you why here in just a second. Okay, so I got some water here, um, so I tried that, very, very spicy, and I took a taste of this stuff, yeah, they, they both got spices in them. Now I got water because I had a comment on one of my other ones that said, uh, I can't remember what video it was, but say if you drink like Coke, tea, you know, like soda pop, whatever, with something like this it could give it a false flavor um, so we should use water um, that made sense to me so you know so that's what I've done the last couple of them I've just used water um, so uh, it does make sense to me I believe I've heard that before but it's been a long time and I haven't heard it very much totally forgot about it um, so you might as well say I didn't didn't even really know about that I knew you should do that on different things but you know as far as taste testing I didn't think it really mattered but it does make sense to me so whoever you are that uh, commented to that thank you and thank you for sharing that with us so my viewers will also know if they don't so I didn't know so alright Bruno stop he's always got to be in my movies um, Bye. <laughs> I'm going to give us a big old heaping helping here. <laughs> and um, and these all, all smell wonderful, man. They smell good. I probably could have stir fried this, but um, it didn't say so on the package. So this is why I'm, I'm doing it the way the package says. So let's give this a shot. Hmm. This has, there's a little bit of heat there. <laughs> it's not overwhelming, but there is heat there. Has a unique flavor from all the other ones. All the other ones, they didn't have the same flavor, but kind of, you could tell. How can I say that? They all had a different flavor but 
you know, your taste buds and stuff knew, you know, you're eating ramen. It must be the corn because I can taste the corn. And I think I'm going to say this one I think is my favorite so far. Best Buy August 15, 2022. It's just the Best Buy date, guys. These things last for years. Here it is again. get a thumbnail um this taste this taste um this tastes mexican style it is uh it's not overwhelming but it does have a you can really taste the corn i mean the after taste the after flavor Tastes like I just ate a corn on the cob. I, I'm going to say this is my favorite one. Um, this one's getting two thumbs up and five out of five stars. The uh, It's not overwhelmingly hot. If you don't like spice, you won't like these. But this one is not overwhelming. You know, it's not like some of the other ones that we tried on here was really super hot now I was able to finish them all some of them was a little bit harder than others this one I'm gonna say is is perfect the right amount of heat the right amount of spice because spicy and hot is two different things you know for those of you that don't know guys it's two different things you can have something that's really spicy but every every time someone eats something spicy it's hot it's hot no matter what if it's hot, they say it's hot. If it's spicy, they say it's hot. There is some heat in here. But there's more spice than anything. It's not overwhelming. I'm not sweating. You know, well, any more than, you know, because I was over top of this hot dish here. But it's not overwhelming. Right amount. Yeah. Two thumbs up, five star for me. Perfect. This one so far is my favorite. I got one more. Monkey says she thinks we tried. Um, I don't know. I knew I didn't try this one. I knew I haven't tried this one yet. I'm pretty sure we didn't try the other one. But if we did, terribly sorry. But we're going to do it again. Um, so, and that's a, the that'll be the last one from this batch. Because there was like, uh, how many they sent me? 12 or something. <laughs> so, um, so I was kind of, as I was winding down, I was kind of going farther and farther in between because I love doing these, you know, and I didn't want to get them all done, to, you know, real fast, and then I wouldn't wouldn't have anything to enjoy. I'm going to enjoy this, that's for sure. I've enjoyed them all, but this one is totally my favorite. I love that corn flavor. Okay, so now, upcoming videos. I've got, uh, we got to put new spindle shafts and blades on her John Deere. Um, one of the spindles seized up last time we was mowing with it. It's going to need a belt. I can smell the belt burning. I mean, I didn't check it, but uh, I'm just going to put one on it because when you smell that, the belt's bad. Uh, because it was making a, you know, it was making that noise. And then, um, it just, I finished backyard for her one day. And she cut the front and I, I did the back. And, um, so... It was making a real loud noise. I knew what it was. It was time for spindles. I put a set of spindles on about three years ago, I'm wanting to say. Four years ago. Um, but for somehow, it wasn't that great of a video anyway because I was hungover because the night before I made these pineapple drinks for me and Monkey and, and I, I wasn't feeling good. So it was pretty crappy camera work and... But somehow it got uploaded on her on her channel. So since I don't have it on mine, I will go ahead and film that. Got some more stuff to do on the vet. I got to get a sending unit. I did drain all that gas out. It had about four and a half gallons of gas from, well, the sticker on the tag says 2015. So I know it had been in there seven years, over seven years from the month. So I drained it out, cleaned out the tank. It wasn't that bad. A little bit of dirt in there. There's no water in it. 
whatsoever. So I did go ahead and clean it all out anyway because I could stick my hand in there. I didn't have to pull the tank. And it looks like brand new inside there. Uh, but I do have to get a sending unit because the wire on the fuel gauge, the sending, the sender, um, did corrode off. So, you know, there'd be no, there'd be no fuel gauge. You know, you gotta have a fuel gauge. Um, so I gotta get one of them. It's like a hundred bucks. And so I got some more work to do on that. And I still gotta, I gotta get the head ordered. I don't know when that's going to be, but. I'm probably just going to put a new head on the Toyota. And let me see. So that's just some upcoming things that we got going on. So once I get the parts ordered for the John Deere, when they come in, we'll go ahead and we'll do that. <coughs> <coughs> what it is is those spindles, they got grease zerts in them, grease fittings. They do no good. I mean, they fill it up with grease, but the grease can't get to the bearings because they put sealed bearings in them. And in order to make that functional, you have to pull it all apart and take the seal off the inside of the bearing, like off the bottom of the top one and off the top of the bottom one, so it can get grease into them. But, I mean, you're going to do all that. You might as well just buy bearings and put in your old ones. So, you know, it's lasted, what, about f about four years. I'd have to, I'll let you know when I make that video. But about four years, so it costs less than 100 bucks. I get the belt three blades three spindles and all the bolts so because nine times out of ten when you go taking bolts out they're going to break so be aware of that if you guys are going to take one off and put it back on let's say you're going to paint your deck up or whatever and you want to take it off be mindful of that because chances are they're going to break now hers surprisingly every one of them came out but i always go ahead and get a kit that way it comes with the bolts because i know you nine times out of ten not always but nine times 90 let's say 90 percent of the time yeah they will break um so be aware of that so anyway once we get those in we'll be doing that so i can get the grass cut it's getting ass deep to a tall indian and um you know yeah <laughs> anyway again guys this is my favorite thanks for watching i appreciate it we got the fourth of july coming up i hope you all have a safe weekend um, I'm going to be, let's see, the 4th is what, Monday? I'm going to be, so Sunday I'll start it. I'm making a brisket on the grill. I'm going to smoke a brisket all day long on my homemade grill slash smoker. So that should be interesting. So again, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Y'all stay safe and take care. Bye-bye, guys. Someone was detected at your front door. <sighs> Can't never film. Nobody out there. Okay.